Hey Collective, it's me, it's your girl Stacy. Here to do an energy read because I feel like it. Ooh. Remember the light oracle. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, just when you're meant to see it, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use the wisdom of the wild things oracle. This is going to be the energy of the reading. And then I'll read the description at the end. If I remember. <laughs> I'm going to remember this time. Spirit, what messages do you have for September 6, 2024? To my soul tribe here. Yeah. What's the message? What do I need to know? I get one message for the collective spirit, right? please and thank you. Okay, I got two. I knew it was gonna get two. What's on the bottom? Remember the wooby. Okay, we have gratitude or forgiveness, and then we have regret. No, not regret, I'm sorry, retract, pull back. Gratitude or forgiveness. The numbers 20 and 15 could be significant. <sighs> gratitude or forgiveness. Which one do you have to be presented with? Are you grateful for your lessons, for your life lessons, for things that you've overcome, the lessons that you've learned? Are you able to forgive those that brought you the lesson, right? Or are you holding resentment and grudges, right? Are you blaming? Are you, uh, yeah, blaming other people for you not taking control of your own life, for you not doing the healing, right? We want to blame people for bringing us the lessons, but that's their purpose, is to bring us the lesson. We don't like the lesson. The lesson don't feel good. It hurts. I want to get uh, revenge. I want to retaliate, you know what I'm saying, because you hurt me, right? But... We fail to look at the lesson and what part do we play in the situation, right? How did we, you know, we stepped into the situation with an expectation and then we got disappointed and now we're mad at the other person, but we don't look at what was the expectation, the intent that we stepped into the situation, right? We wanted something from it. So, that's a bit... Of selfishness, right? We we want to pull something from the situation, then when we don't we get it. When we don't get it, we we hold resentment towards the the situation or the person that get, didn't give us what we wanted because it's something that we got to give ourselves. And that's and that's what the lesson tries to teach us, right? That what we're looking for, the reason we're disappointed is because it's not there. It's in here. We're looking outside instead of inside. Okay, we're going to take that. And then we got retract. This I feel like this is pulling back from something. To let something go. Uh, to change your mind. To apologize. You know, maybe you said something that maybe was very hurtful or damaging to someone's image or reputation. You know, maybe you have to go back and, and retract that. That statement or something that you said or or how you felt about somebody or what you thought about somebody you know you got to know the person so now your mind is changing now you got to retract you got to pull back that energy of your first thought or so, what somebody told you right you're learning firsthand for yourself right so let's see what's going on here and then we'll um I'll read the what the card says, the definition. Let's see if that we got. Yeah, we got the seven of swords and the chariot. Hmm. This could be somebody trying to sneak away, trying to trying to move forward with something, uh, in a deceptive kind of energy. Okay, that gives me the energy of somebody trying to get away with something, with some kind of action that they've they've already done you know trying to avoid the consequences of an action right excuse me what's this massive spirit 20 and 15 could be significant 51 could be significant 
five, one, and six. This could be about your sixth house. This could be about health. Hmm. I'm also getting the energy of hiding as well. Somebody could be trying to hide from the consequences of their actions, right? Somebody could be to uh, ask for your forgiveness and they're, they're uh, avoiding it, you know, taking out resonates. But I feel like you have gratitude for the lesson that you learned because once we accept the lesson, once we identify what it's trying to teach us, then that elevates us and we, we get to see things from a higher perspective. We're no longer bound to the energy that, that we first got from whatever this disappointment was. We're no longer bound to that pain, that emotion, because we recognize it was to teach us something, not to keep us in an emotion of hurt, regret, and doubt, but to teach us all oh, well, maybe if I do something different this time and, and if I'm, you know, pay attention to my intuition and the red flags next time, I won't make the same mistakes. That's what it's supposed to teach you. Come on. But some people don't want to uh, be held accountable. They don't want to hold themselves accountable because of shame, uh, guilt, regret. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family. Okay, this could be about family. About an, an environment, right? That you live in your community, the people around you, people in your home. <clears throat> Spirit was dismissed. Yes, yes. You may have to forgive people in your family or people that are close to you, right? Hmm. I, I, I'm seeing somebody that, that has a lot of wisdom. It's like you're an old soul. You get your, your your wisdom, your information from old spirits. That's what I'm picking up. High priestess, I can't make it up. <laughs> that's what I'm picking up. Like somebody that's very intuitive, right? Somebody with knowledge of both the shadow and the light. Understanding the pain, the trauma, and all that stuff. Recognizing, accepting it, healing from it, right? So that way it's always balanced in your energy. You know, never being triggered to a point where, you know, that you act out and you're, un you're out of control of your emotions or your actions, right? Understanding what it is, what mm, the purpose, the purpose of the pain. Mm, come on, Spirit, what's this message? You are the high priestess. Yes, yes, yes. Very balanced energy, very forgiving, very loving, very nurturing energy as well. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was a betrayal. It's always like that. Backstabbing energy. Regret, you know. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Not being treated equally. Not being given to equally, right? Being left out. Being isolated. Being sacrificed. Call it what you want. Ten of Swords coming against you. Betrayal after betrayal. Uh, lies, deceit, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing. From you, right? And then you ask yourself, why is this always happening to me? Why is everybody targeting me with this kind of energy, right? It's something about you that people feel like they can just get away with things. You know why? Because you're so forgiving. Because you're so nurturing and loving. This is the type... These, these people see you as someone that... You can take it. Whether it's right or wrong, it is what it is. Because of your nature, because of your forgiving nature. Be grateful for your forgiving nature. Sometimes we can look at that as a curse, right? Because we want to say no, we want to be mean, and we want to, you know, be, you know, retaliatory and stuff. But that's not our nature. Our nature is love, caring, helping, supporting. Empathy, compassion, that's our nature and that's why people feel like they can get away with um, dishonoring you, disrespecting you, deceiving you. You're not going to do anything, but what they don't understand is because of your nature, the universe and God most of all protects you. Alright, they, you are here to raise the vibration of the earth. Right, one person at a time, one situation at a time. Right? Come on, spirit. Somebody regrets that. Whatever they did, they're being haunted by it. You hear me? They're being haunted by it. 
by their actions, by the choices that they made. And not just the choices, but the intent behind the choices. The, the intent was negative. The intent was demonic. You hear me? Hmm. Lovers. Yeah, somebody made a decision. They, they made a decision not to give to you, to withhold from you, to backstab you, to betray you, to sacrifice you. But that's over. That's a 10. That's completion. We got 10, 11, 10. <laughs> yeah, and this is by people that were supposed to be loyal to you, supportive of you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead, they felt like you wouldn't notice, you wouldn't say anything, you don't need it. That's what I'm hearing. You, did, you didn't need it. You'll, you'll be okay without it. You don't have any expectations of uh, big things. That's how they see you, right? You don't, you don't need, you know, nice things and luxury or financial stability because you're all right with just being who you are, right? You don't need it. We can just take it from you because they, I'm telling you, they feel like, Taking from you is like taking candy from a baby. And you know God watches out for fools and babies, right? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on here? Three of Cups. They celebrated. These are people that you could have celebrated with too. Two of Wands and the Hierophant. Two of Wands in reverse, not wanting uh, no, no direction, right? Unable to go anywhere, unable to make a move, unable to decide to walk away from a situation. Hmm. Hierophant, but that's going to change. Spirit, what's this message? What high priestess? Come on now. Eight of Cups in reverse, not wanting you to walk away. Or this could be you. Hmm. Knowing you need to walk away, but not walking away. Why, Spirit? Not making a decision. Hierophant. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups in reverse. What is this Eight of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess? <clears throat> Even though you know what people have done. Even though you know their behaviors, even though you know, you know what I'm saying, what they've done to deceive you, to take from you, to mislead you, to leave you out. You see that. They, they didn't celebrate with you. They celebrated without you. They celebrated without you. They left you out. With this Eight of Cups in reverse, they left you out. And it could be because you walked away. Or maybe the whole purpose was to get you to walk away. You know deep down inside you can't go back though. You know even if you want to, you can never go back to the situation as it is, right? Not under these circumstances, not under that under this energy. You know you can't go back because it's not a supportive energy. It's not an energy or environment that you can grow and prosper in, right? It's an environment to keep you held back, to keep you stagnant and stuck, right? To keep you a servant to them. Come on, spirit. That's what that is. They wanted you to be their servant. They wanted you to be their footstool to elevate them so they could take from you and elevate themselves. Come on. The hangman. The martyr. That's what I'm picking up. It's like these people didn't give to you, they didn't support you, but yet and still here they are trying to blame you for something. It's like whatever goes wrong in these people's lives, they find a way to, to attach it to you in some way, shape, or form. And I feel you feel like you've allowed this to listen, the Queen of Swords, allowed this to go on for a very long time. You re, you didn't leave, you stayed. You know, even though these people were sabotaging you, were trying to bind you to their bad, you know, situations, trying to cause havoc and blame you for how they, you know, how their lives have turned out. It was all your fault, so they say. But see, they're the ones that mistreated you. These people don't even understand that their actions and behaviors is exact result of how they treated you. Yeah, you're speaking the truth about that. They know it too. You're speaking your truth. I 
And I'm also feeling like you're for very forgiving. I feel like you even forgive these people. I feel like you've spoken that. You know, but you know you need to retreat. You know this isn't a, a fertile ground for you, a fertile environment. You accept it. You accept the lesson. Right? You accept the lesson. Even though it may have had to come through people that you love. People in your, your, your family, your DNA, your blood. Regardless of the fact, you understand that your lessons can come through anybody. You're the high priestess. Especially those that are closest to you. You know that. You accept that. That's why you have a, um, a energy of gratitude and forgiveness. Because you understand the mission. You understand how people are used. Whether they know it or not. You understand how the moves are being made. This isn't chess. This is checkers. Alright. There's always a pawn. There's always somebody that's going to be used to elevate you. To, 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 to give you the lessons that the universe wants you to learn. Hmm. When the student's ready, the teacher will appear. Come on, spirit. You have sacred knowledge. That's why you're in that. That's why you're such a loving and nurturing energy. Because you have sacred knowledge. You know that it don't matter what weapon is formed against you. It will never prosper. And you also know that those that are throwing stones, those are lessons they got to learn as well. You know they're only activating their own lesson, their own karma when they attack you. They don't recognize that. I do. That's why you don't say nothing. Mm. If anything, I feel like you try to warn people, but they don't hear you. Spirit, what's the message? Ace of Swords. That's the truth. That's the truth. It did come out. It did flip in my hand. But that's the truth. Spirit said flip it. There could have been a lot of lies. A lot of gossip with all these swords in your back. Swords of action. Swords of communication. There was a lot of communication about you to betray you. You know, there was a lot of things said against you. Against your character. There's a lot of things done against you like uh, deception and withholding things from you that could have helped you to prosper, to elevate in your life or even your stability. They withheld that from you. They used it, they used it and kept it for themselves. Come on, spirit. Yep, and you were always in the nine of wands energy wondering why you always had to defend yourself against the people that were supposed to love you, right? And what was it all about? That fucking bit money. Power, control. Spirit, what's this message? Hmm, what's going on here? Six of Cups. Six of Wands. Victory. What's on the bottom? And justice. Yes. And cycle closing. Yeah, you completing this cycle. Mm-hmm. Yep, look at this. The devil. Yep, you're closing the book on this devil energy. We got the eight of wands, fast forward movement. We got the four swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're closing the cycle on this devil energy, this toxic energy. Uh, being bound to people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Feeling like you have to deal with people because they're in your family. No, you don't. No, you don't. That retreat, no, you don't. You can love people from a distance. You can still support people from a distance. Right? And as much as you feel like you need to without overstepping your own boundaries, right? Or allowing other people to overstep their boundaries in your life. Mm -hmm. Because you know who they are You know exactly what they've done You know what they've done And you still forgive them mm. And have gratitude to boot You hear me? Yep, look at that That imbalanced energy Cycle complete You learned the lesson You learned what you needed to learn About each and every individual That you had to deal with in this situation Alright 
people, each and every one of them. There's a lot of cups out here in this family. So we got ten cups and, and ten pentacles, okay? So this can be up to ten people. You know, different situations in your life that, that you know, I know at least eight of them you, you walked away from. All right, there still could be like two more individuals or situations in your life that you're reevaluating. You know what I mean? Because I know definitely eight of those people you have totally cut the ties with these people. All right, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That could be one of them. An Earth sign. Mm -hmm. So I could be having financial issues. Losing a lot of money, instability. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, the Ace of Cups. Come on now. We got the Ace of Cups here. Yeah. You get wish fulfillment. You you will be uh, brought into the land of milk and honey. I heard. You will have wish fulfillment. You will have unconditional love. You just need, you're being guided towards your soul tribe. Okay? You'll be, this, the lesson for you was to learn how to, um, to know your worth, to know your value, what you bring to the table, right? To learn how to, uh, forgive, right? And try to see see the higher perspective in people's behaviors and actions, but it does not mean that you have to keep them in your life, in your environment. You do not. You do not have to do that. You know what the purpose is. You know what your purpose is here. That's why you're in this energy, this innocence, this this naivete energy, and you stay vibrating high. You stay vibrating in love. You stay vibrating in forgiveness. You stay vibrating in compassion and empathy, right? Because no matter what comes against you, you are going to be protected. Yes, Father says it doesn't mean that we won't have to in encounter painful situations and disappointments in life. But it's the way you handle it. It's what's going to elevate you, right? You bring it to God and allow God to show you what, what he's trying to do in the situation. He'll, he will tell you the trick. Of the enemy. He'll say, baby, they're trying to get you emotionally unbalanced. Peep it. It's all about our emotions. It's all about our emotions are what regulate our chakras. If they can knock one off, right? If they can have you confused about something, then that's a, that'll knock your chakra loose, right? And that create an imbalance. Come on now. It's all about the emotions. It's all about the emotion. They want to make you angry. They want to make you mad. But if you stop and you really look at the antics of a clown, they're making a fucking fool out of themselves. If you just stop and look at the antics that they're doing just to get you to budge. Come on now. Pay attention to your surroundings and your environment. And now you can sit back and just look at people and, and see them. And see what... What their purpose and their intent is. You won't be so mad because you won't take it personally. You'll know that, that they, there's, there's a spirit on them. Right? That they can't control. That makes them want to get a reaction out of someone that's loving and caring. That your light irritates their demons. They want to knock you off. They want to put your light out. Let's just say it like it is. But that ain't finna happen. Because God's in charge of those lampstands. And he's the one that puts the light out. Nobody but him. Spirit, what's the message? Queen of Wands. Loving, caring, protective, nurturing, beautiful, vibrant. Mystical. Witchy, if you want to call it that, but that's your spirituality and your intuition. People don't understand how you know how you can recognize their actions and behaviors. They don't. How do you know how I feel? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Because you are the star. You are the healer. That's how you know how they feel. Come on, spirit. <laughs> we got the Knight of Pentacles out here. <laughs> Slow motion, baby. Very methodical. You know, take your time. 
That's what Spirit is telling. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Wow. And what? Three of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Hmm. Spirit, what's this? Uh, ooh, it's out of sweat, y'all. The Star is Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles, Spirit? Something that you've been working on for a very long time. Uh, slow progress, okay? It could be something, uh, uh, I'm, I'm picking up the energy of some kind of harvest or gift or reward or something like that I'm hearing, okay? It's something that's coming to you, something that, that you work towards for a very long time. You know, you put in the work. What is the spirit? Damn, not no heartbreak. Maybe this is you working to heal this heartbreak with this. Because you see this. There's a man in the back plowing, right? Turning the soil. Preparing it. Right? For uh, planting new seeds. Yeah. Spirit, what is this? This uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. I feel like this is you healing. I feel like this is, has been the road. You know, people have walked away from you. Okay? They walked away from you in the past. You were heartbroken, right? They left you out in the cold. You tended to your feelings. You put in the work. You started healing yourself. And now, here you are healing and pouring into others, okay? Come on, spirit. And just as is, you get this in return. Joy, happiness, completeness, and wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment, right? Because we've all had the material things, you know what I mean? But when it comes to the emotional... A lot of us have never had that. I know I haven't. Not unconditional. Never. It was always conditions, as far as I know. I can remember. You know? Spirit, what's this message? But I've always given, you know? So I get it. I understand this completely. What is this message? Eight of Pentacles. Work. Master and continue to work, continue to um, master your skill. I feel like people see you in high honor, right? The image that they see of you is someone that's a giver. You see how someone's making a statue of, of this person as they work. You're somebody that's a giver, very generous, very giving, okay? And people respect that and they, they um, admire that about you, okay? People admire your work. Thank you, Spirit. That's what I heard. One more. What else is the Spirit? I'm also hearing you're very humble. We got seven of cups. Choices. Options. Could be illusions. <laughs> We have the fool taking a leap of faith. You could be thinking about, you know, maybe there's a lot of options before you. Choices you could be ready to make. Uh-oh. We got the Ten of Wands. It's in reverse, though. King of Wands. Hmm. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles. This Seven of Cups and this Ten of Wands in reverse. This could be releasing burdens. Or with this Eight of Pentacles, and I said people admire your work. Somebody could be looking at you as an option because this is right under the Queen of Wands. And then we got the King of Wands right under the, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody taking a long time to come towards you. Maybe somebody was waiting for you to release these burdens. That's what, because it, this Ten of Wands is right under the star. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. Somebody's watched you work. Somebody's watched you, you know, go through your healing process and release these burdens. And now somebody's ready to come in. Wow, somebody could have been watching you go through this whole situation. Or maybe it's just the universe aligning. You, yeah, the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles in reverse, and then taking that leap of faith, overcoming obstacles, releasing those people that no longer serve you, right? Coming out of this this energy of lack, 
and disappointment and abandonment, right? Stepping up to the plate and, and, and look, the Nine of Cups, loving yourself. Yeah. Ooh, that flew out. The fool. Wow. Right, right here with the King of Wands. Somebody may be trying to, ready to take a leap of faith with you. You could be, it could be a Leo. Okay. This is somebody that wants commitment with you. That's what's on this person's mind. You see it on the back of the chair. This is what's behind them. This is what they keep hidden. They want somebody that's loyal. Somebody that can appreciate them. And I feel like they, they see that in you. They see your loyalty. They watch you carry burdens. They watch you overcome this heartache and close this cycle out. Especially from betrayal from those that were close to you. This person watched you build from that. Look, the neighbor of wands. The Knight of Wands and the Devil. Ooh, wee, what the hell? The Hierophant. What is this? Uh oh, Spirit, don't do that. Don't do that. What's this? The Strength and the Hierophant. The Devil, the Knight of Wands, and the Knave of Wands. Huh. So we got somebody maybe trying to rush in to try to get something going with you, but this is somebody you don't even have passion for anymore. You, you see this person as somebody that's very toxic. Very uh, promiscuous, a cheater. Hello. This person has no loyalty and you feel like this person's attached to the devil. To very toxic energy. Hierophant. The magician. The, the moon. Huh. Yeah, I don't know who this is that's trying to rush in here. Because you see how them cards fell out my hand? Yeah, as soon as I said that this king of, king of wands was about to take this leap of faith, that shit flew out my hand. Somebody gonna try to come rushing in, a Knight of Wands. And I hope this ain't this King of Wands. I don't think so. Because I feel like this King of Wands has released their burdens as well. You know, this is all up under the star. So, what's this? The truth. Mm, that is the truth. Whoever this somebody is that wants to come running is somebody you're very guarded against. Could be an ex-lover. Yep, somebody you don't deal with no more. Somebody you don't cut off is probably one of these people. Okay? But this could have been somebody that you were in a romantic relationship with. Because this is somebody that's all about sex. This is somebody that's been sleeping around. Let me tell you. Yes, they have. Somebody wants to come in and, and pretend that they want to have a new opportunity with you. But this person is just all about, ooh, I heard you're just a checklist, uh, a notch on their belt. Come on. Y'all better pay attention. Somebody's coming in just to check you off of their checklist. Okay? Take it how it resonates. Somebody could be trying to run in because they see somebody else coming at you. They just want... You know what I heard? I heard somebody wants to come in and try to sleep with you and tell your potential partner, your your, your kingdom spouse, that, that you were promiscuous. They slept with you. Somebody's trying to... Yeah, that's what I heard. So y'all be careful out here. I don't know who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. This is somebody with a very flighty and this and let me tell you something. This night, this night of wands is married. This night of wands has a person. Let me tell you, this person has somebody that they having problems at home. You hear me? This was out looking around, and so was that one. They both looking for passion outside the relationship. Thank you, spirit. All right, so know that this is somebody just coming to get a notch under their belt. Because I already told you, they already think they can deceive you because of your your nature. Alright? Thank you, Spirit. Somebody thinks they can come in and just, you know, uh, bring all this, this this passion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Temperance and the love is listen. You don't have to balance, keep yourself balanced when it comes to this, when it comes to making choices with lovers. Yep, because you are the Empress. Come on, baby. Talk about it. Yep. Somebody wants you to put your guard down. Mm -mm, don't do it. Listen, don't do it. Don't put your guard down with this person. Mm -hmm. You may have had conflict with this person in the past. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't put your guard down for this person. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's going on here, Spirit? Can I get one more? Then I'm going to close this up. Don't put your guard down for this person. And don't be tempted by no daggone SEX either. Wait for your kingdom spouse. He's coming. He's been watching and waiting to make sure you're ready. You hear me? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Somebody wants to come in from the cold. They've been watching you. 
Mm -mm, don't do it. Yep, yeah, they want to send you a message. They want to come rushing in and try to pretend they want to fight for this. They lying. Listen, I'm telling you, don't do it. I'm telling you, all right. Don't listen to me. Listen. Let's see what your, the cards say for y'all. Uh, get the book. Can I get the book? Oh, damn, Gina. <laughs> So what we got here, we have gratitude or forgiveness, 20. All right, gratitude or forgiveness. The point of power is always in the present moment. Find it through the garden of gratitude. If you can't get to gratitude, get to forgiveness. There is a time to honor your grief, frustration, resentment, blame, and trauma. But that's not what this moment calls for. If you can't find your way to the garden, then forage your way through the forest of forgiveness. The hardest thing to do is forgive a person who hasn't asked for it, or to let go of a situation that continues to harm you. Even when you know you're in the right, you can be right, or you can be free. Mm. This moment invites you to elevate your energy through acceptance, forgiveness, and gratitude. Accept the invitation and watch how your inner reality begins to reshape and redefine your outer reality. Come on, spirit. And what was this other one? Retract. 15. All right. Retract. Now is the moment to withdraw. Protect. Just as the opossum will play dead when threatened, so too must you lay low and observe while retracting from life. While retracting from life is no way to live, it will serve you for short periods of time. Whatever quandary you find yourself in right now, seclusion and quiet are powerful allies. Await inspiration for your next move. Create a gentle environment for your spirit, heart, mind, and body. Go into the deep woods of your own psyche with curiosity and wonder. Contemplate the right answer will arise by itself. Dare to trust. Let yourself off the hook. Mm, let yourself off the hook, right? Let yourself off the hook. Stop holding yourself uh, responsible for other people's uh, happiness. Boom. Stop holding yourself accountable for other people's happiness. You're only accountable for yours. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. That's your message. I'll see you. This is.